Lesson 1.12 using 10 to add 7, 8, and 9. When we need to add numbers, we can use 10 to help us. We saw that in the last video. We can take an amount away from one addend and give it to the other addend to make a 10. If we have 8 plus 4, we can take two counters away from the 4 and give it to the 8. Then we'll have 10 plus 2. It's the same thing. They're equivalent. They're equal. 8 just needs two more to be a 10, so it takes it from the 4. Now it's a 10, and the 4 becomes a 2. 7 needs 3 more to be a 10. So if we have 7 plus 5, it can take 3 away from the 5. We can take 1, 2, 3 of these away, and give it to the 7 to make a 10. And the 5 ends up becoming a 2. Now we have 10 plus 2. See? So let's try it with these. We have 8 plus 6. The 6 is going to give 2 to the 8 to make it a 10. So we're going to take away 2. We're going to give it to the 8. And now we have 10 plus 4. See? See how we did that? We had 8 on this side, we had 6 on this side, and we took 2 of these away, so now it's a 4. See the 4 red ones? We gave it to this side, and now we have 8, 9, 10. See? Let's try it again. We have 7 plus 8. We have 7 counters, and we have 8 counters. The 7 is going to give 2 to the 8. That's going to make it a 10. We'll have 10 plus 5. The 7 went down by 2 because we gave two of its counters away to the 8, and it made it a 10. 10 plus 5 is 15. See? So 7 plus 8 must be 15. Let's try it again. We have a 9 plus 5. This is like what we did in the last video. The 5 is going to give one counter to the 9. That's going to make it a 4, and the 9 is going to become a 10. 10 plus 4 is 14, so 9 plus 5 must be 14. See? This went down by 1. This went up by 1. Let's try it again. We have 9 plus 7. The 7 can give 1 to the 9. It's going to become a 6. We gave this one to the 9, so now it's up there, and now we have 10 plus 6. 10 plus 6 is 16, so 9 plus 7 must be 16. Let's try it again. We have 7 plus 6. This 6 is going to give 3 to the 7, so that it's a 10. And now it becomes a 3, because we took the 3 away, see? We take 3 away. We give it to the 7, and that'll become a 10. 10 plus, 13, 10 plus 3 is 13, so 7 plus 6 must be 13. See? The 6 gives 3 to the 7 to make it a 10, and it became a 3. We have 7 plus 4. The 4 is going to give 3 to the 7. It's going to become a 1 when we take those 3 away. And the 7 is going to become a 10, and 10 plus 1 is 11. So 7 plus 4 must be 11. So we can take numbers away from the other add-in to make the first add-in a 10 to make us have an easier time adding them. It works especially good with 9s because you just need one more and you make it one less. But we can use it with 8. We can use it with 7. All right? So that's how we can use 10 to add a 7, an 8, or a 9. You can try it yourself. I'll see you next video. We're going to start adding three numbers together. Bye.